we were we have a cooker cutter life. Mm-hmm. And it pissed me off straight away. <laughs> TJ's face, like, where is this going? <laughs> what, what are we in therapy? The B side word. I was uh, searching through the internet. No, we were watching T Pain. T Pain's uh, the pop. This is pop on this Netflix. Is pop. And uh, the word cookie cookie cutter came up, and I said, "What the hell is cookie cutter?" Wait, what? Why? What? As in just the, in the normal, how people use it, you, you didn't know what it was, you mean? No, in the context that it was used in Netflix. So it was like uh, they were talking about pop music and then they said there was a cook, cut, cookie cutter. Um, anyway, so cookie cutter is denoting something mass produced or lacking any di- dis- distinguishing characteristics. Yes. Um, it's, it's uh, yeah. It's so, like when you talk about cookie, I don't want a cookie cutter house, I don't want a cookie cutter dog, I don't want a cookie cutter, whatever it might be, it just means you don't want what everyone else has, like what the norm is. You want something outside the box, something different. Would you, do you think you would, do you think you would want something different? In what respect, for what? All right, so I was, I was looking and reflecting on our life and I feel like we were, we have a cookie cutter life. Mm-hmm. And it pissed me off straight away. <laughs> TJ's face, like, where is this going? <laughs> what, what are we in therapy? <laughs> well, sort of. <laughs> so it was pissing me off. We're in this cookie cutter life. So I was like, um, man. So there's this thing. This article came out, and it goes: uh, cook- cookie cutter people marry young and have longer committed relationships at an early age. I said, tick. <laughs> yeah. I said, when two <laughs> two cookie cutter people find each other, they are satisfied. Since they have very reasonable life goals, such as becoming an accountant, buying a three-bedroom house, or starting a family, and they are on track to achieving their plan. <laughs> I, we have a three-bedroom household. You've fucking tick. Exactly got a three-bedroom house. And we've got a family, which is what I've always wanted. Yeah. F and tick, right? And I <laughs> kept reading this. <laughs> kept reading this bloody article, and I was getting absolutely furious. <laughs> This is not much consideration in pursuing radical dreams or changing the world. Cookie cutter people have their own world and stay focused on their daily life. Their stresses include grocery shopping, family reunions, (laughs) and the finale of X Factor. I said, tick, tick, tick. Yes. Tick, tick, tick. That's us. X Factor was pretty good. X Factor is pretty good, man. Don't knock X Factor. So, (laughs) the thing is, right, I realize this. I realize this. We have a cookie cutter life. But at the same time, I've always had an itch, uh, a, a certain inkling, a certain uh, underlying <laughs> drive where I wanted to do something more than what this, like, you know, just color outside just the line. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Or just reshape the cookie. Mm-hmm. So it's not circle. It's mm-hmm. sort of, it's got a bit of like, you know, mm-hmm. shit on the side. It's a funny shape. Mm-hmm. It's like a, a turtle. You know, there's little legs. And yeah. a head, so it's yeah. not a circle, but it's got it's just out. Anyways, yeah. so I started thinking about it's it, it it hit me. It hit me when I uh when I was I realized I was going the same path as everyone as uh as everyone else was when I was having conversations with old men. Old men. Right. This is when I knew that I was gonna go down that path. Yeah. Right? Because these people have walked the path already. And they have a cookie cutter life. Mm-hmm. They have it all set in front of them. All they have to do is retire. And this, these people can complain. The older that they get, the more that they complain, right? Yeah. And I was like, that's me. I looked at these guys and I was like, that's me. CG, are, are you, are you? I was going to say, isn't the reason why men get older and complain because we have more estrogen coming into our body? What? Oh. Is that why? What? I, I, look, Siege could be 100% accurate on this, but for some reason, something in my gut is telling me he's connected those dots all by himself. <laughs> I, I think the lack of testosterone, there's a lack of, we lose testosterone, yeah. but I don't think estrogen enters our body. I'm I, looking I thought, it up. Get, I'm looking our, it up. Our estrogen, our estrogen, our estrogen levels go, go higher as we get older, I thought. Oh, I don't know. I was going to say, it sounds like you're just having a midlife crisis, mate. 
not a midlife crisis because it's happened before. It uh, I realized I was we were going down a cookie cutter life, but there maybe they're... you're just having an early midlife crisis. There were things well, that because you've you've you, you bought the bike already. The remember you had the motorbike. <laughs> yeah, very early on because yeah, yeah. All right, let, 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 let's look at the evidence here. Mm. Most guys with middle midlife crisis have um buy a sports car, yeah. a motorbike, and things like that. Yeah. Right? You've done that. Yeah. Okay, so maybe you're just an early bloomer. Wait, wait. You le- need to learn to <laughs> wait, accept. Is that the, the all the evidence you've given? That, that, <laughs> is that it? That, 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 that this is your life, right? <laughs> Accepted. That, that was my favorite that. part. Let's, let's look at the evidence. <laughs> One piece of evidence. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for the list Enough of evidence. <laughs> okay. In a murder trial, all you think you need is the knife or the gun. The prints on it. <laughs> and that's enough evidence to convict someone, correct? <sighs> uh, so The motorbike is the knife and the gun. You did can want I, a motorbike, yeah. Can I throw... Caution to your wind of cookie cutter life. Mm. So there's a reason things are cookie cutter, right? Like mm-hmm. it's not cookie cutter because you're you lack innovation or because you lack desire or passion or anything like that. The reason things are cookie cutter and the reason why stereotypes exist, the reason why things are cliche, is because they work. Like that's actually what people want. That's actually yeah, how people are. Um, so like, for example, in the music industry, the reason why you have a cookie cutter music artist is because they've figured out, well, these are all the traits that make Mm. you successful. So a cookie cutter life is whether, obviously you didn't like look at a recipe and follow it. Like you've followed what your natural inclination is. Yeah. And that's led you to the life you want, which just so happens to be what a lot of humans want, what a lot of people want. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, there's not, no, like, don't get me wrong. I, I have the best of both worlds because I, um, I think Emma loves the cookie cutter life. I love it certain points, but I also like to, like, you know, make my own shapes, create my own dough, play with play dough, right? This is true because I'll buy, like, a set of six beautiful, um, you know, like mugs, and then he'll go and buy a, bra- a brown ugly mug or something. Yeah, but that's then, just that's just showing and something puts underlying. It in my, you know, it's in just my sort of mug like... cupboard, and I'm like, ah. A- Emma, was I correct about men and the estrogen levels? You increasing? were correct. Wow. Yeah, estrogen or estrogen in men mm. does increase as you get older. However, it shouldn't but go to an abnormally high level if it doesn't. You get boobies. Problem. But does it have anything to do with being grumpy? <laughs> Uh, that, was, that was the dot connected. Wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm taking the win. All right. I got half of it correct. I'm taking the win. There is something <laughs> you known can't as, take this win away from me. Something known as irritable male irritable male syndrome. Mm. Stressed out, grumpy, moody. This, not to be confused uh, with irritable uh, bowel syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're linked though. <laughs> um. Yeah, w- w- one one you got a shitty mood, and the other you got a shitty shit. <laughs> uh. Oh, male menopause, hormonal cycles with males during adolescence, also the years of forty to fifty-five. Mm. Um, what we call male menopause or andropause. Didn't know about that. And then there are hormonal changes in men going through irritable male syndrome. <laughs> Related to a man's stress, um, I haven't found out about the estrogen. I will keep searching. Continue. So, uh, uh, do you, uh, I'm curious as mm. as the cookie cutters of the group mm. talking to two makers, non cookie cutters. <laughs> yeah, but me and me and Siege are non cookie cutters, but we took different directions outside of the cookie cutting tray. Yeah. Like he went left, I went right. Yeah. Is there any? Yeah. He went wrong. I I ate the box and then broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any <laughs> anything that you see from our life where you're like that would have been better over the cookie cutter? Over whose life? On we're looking over the fence <laughs> at um of, uh, Alexander, Alexander and, and CJ. Are there any? Are there any blades of grass that are a bit greener? 
I I would only say because when I met Emma, the reason why the cookie cutter like hit home for me because when I met Emma, Emma was traveling from England to um, Australia. And then she said that after this, I'm going to New Zealand and after that, I'm going to Canada, yes. right? But then I was like, fuck that. I pinned you down. You ain't so you, going nowhere. <laughs> you, you just brought my cookie cutter a bit right. earlier. So that's, that's why it hit home because I was like, damn it, did I stop Emma from reshaping her her shaping her cookie shape did it, <laughs> was she supposed to have like a world cookie cut like you know what i mean yeah yeah it could have been a star cookie a star, no, well yeah like it would have been uh whatever you could have been you could have been somewhere else you could be in canada right now mm-hmm. right so that's when i was i uh, like i was that's when i started thinking like should i keep pushing emma to find out where she would have been like keep expanding and challenging the relationship because I feel guilty from pinning it down. Are you at, saying you want Emma to date other men just in case? <laughs> Do you just want a, me to be a sugar baby? You, you never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, CJ. My question is this. Mm. Emma, are you happy? Yeah. Then who cares about Canada? Yeah, no. It's I think not that. that when you say the blade of grass on the other side, is it greener? Um, just one blade. Yeah, I think the, when yeah, I look, might not at be the whole other, garden, just a couple of blades. Well, I think when I there are definite. Okay, this is all right. This is true, but this is true for everyone in every circumstance. The grass is always greener about some things. For example, people that didn't get married as young as us, or have a house, or have kids are able to travel a lot more and then we can't travel because we, you know, that's just not in our budget. It doesn't fit with our lifestyle at the moment, our family. So then you're like, oh, we missed out on that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But then when you speak to other people that are on that opposite side, they're like, yeah, but I want the husband or I want the kids or yeah. I want the... Like Backstreet Boys. What? I want, I want, it, I want it that way. Or... Yeah. So that it's just, it's always both ways. Tell me why. Can I, yeah. can I just yes, ding, ding, ding that? Because <laughs> yes. again, left of field cookie cutter, like didn't, didn't go that route. What are my goals now? Like, what am I aiming for? I'm aiming to move in with my girlfriend, mm-hmm. eventually buy a house. Mm-hmm. Have kids, mm-hmm. yeah. live in Sydney. Yeah, like I'm, I'm literally going from the opposite of cookie cutter towards <laughs> to... your exact life. Yeah. Like... <laughs> you buying the cookie stencils? <laughs> <laughs> no, we've washed them, passed them on. You're reusing so, them. <coughs> these um, blades of grass right, that you've you're looked trying at. to get your co- you're trying to get your cookies in the oven. <laughs> No, I think, I think, yeah, maybe it's just a timing thing and everyone really drifts towards the cookie cutter thing. Not everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people do. And it, maybe it's just a timing thing. And when that happens, to be honest. And also I have an answer. Mm. Ready? Mm. This is from medicinenet.com about irritable male syndrome. So I'm going to just scoop over a few a little bit. And then it says, when we put on weight, this was interesting, by the way, our fat cells are are more active in converting testosterone into estrogen. Did you know that? The more estrogen we have and the less testosterone we have, the more irritable we become and the less sense of our own manly strength that we have. That's one way they get out of whack. So you're right. The more estrogen you have, the more irritable slash grumpy and moody you are. Can I just throw the caveat of... What's TRT? Anyways. Oh, yeah. Testosterone replacement therapy. Can I just throw the caveat of do we know if that article is in any way like medicine? Was it medicine net? Medicine dot net. No, I have not um, checked to see if this is a peer, peer review. <laughs> peer review. Why are you trying to prove me wrong? Alexander? I'm not. It was the just wording. It. it was the wording. I was in right. That. Just made yeah. me think that some guy just wrote that. I just want to end this this segment by saying what pissed me off the most about being labeled as a cookie cutter or just me reading and researching was I found this website on notable life and, uh, it was 25 examples of, uh, if you're a cooker cookie cutter mm-hmm. and number 21, Oh no, 25 
examples of how not to be a cookie cutter life. And 21 was make sure your place isn't furnished with furnished entirely from Ikea. And that's when I knew. That's when I knew. Where were you earlier today? That's when I knew. That's when I knew. I said it's G-O, mate. Game over. Game over. That's when I knew. That's when I effing knew. That that, was... that, those cookies are in the oven, mate. And you start shopping done. at Lowe's. Man. <laughs> That'll be the next one. The B-Side Word.